All right, everybody, it's March 11th, and it's eight years ago since the Fukushima accident. It's not a disaster, it's an accident. Um, you know, some people said, well, are you going to chime in of Fukushima Day? And I was like, what? Fukushima Day? Um, what's this all about? You know, Fukushima Day? I, 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 didn't, I didn't get it. Uh, of course, I knew that it, that it that today is the eighth anniversary of the uh, you know triple meltdown in Fukushima. Although they, I believe they didn't all happen at the same day, so there's that. But in any case, I I, I just wanted to give you three things that I take away from it. And first thing I will say is uh, read this piece by Mike Schallenberger. It sounds crazy, but Fukushima, Chernobyl, and Three Mile Island show why nuclear is inherently safe. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. I mean, look at Three Mile Island. I mean, the the plant is still operational today. Millions of people live in the surrounding areas, and, you know, not a fly was harmed. Um, Chernobyl, slightly different matter. You know, an experiment went wrong in a nuclear facility that well, wasn't really des designed to cope with the stress that they put on it and uh, you know it resulted in 50,000 people being displaced and uh, you know quite a quite a few thyroid malformities and but not a lot of deaths actually I mean if you compare this to for instance a gas explosion or you know, a chemical plant explosion like a Bhopal or, a, you know, a, a dam failure, for instance. It, it pills in comparison. It pills in comparison. But but people get freaked out about it because it's radiation and they don't understand radiation. So, and that's, that, that's my first point. I mean, we're talking about overblown reactions here. Um, the evacuation of the uh, Fukushima prefecture killed more people than the radiation of the meltdowns that got, you know, uh, distributed into the area would have ever been able to do. Um, right now, we are quite certain that uh, it is simply safer to, you know, close all your doors and windows, stay inside for a couple of days, don't drink the cow's milk, and make sure that you drink bottled water, and, you know, I believe that in, in, in certain areas, even the tap water will be safe, so there's that, and, you know, it, when we look at Fukushima in particular, I mean, uh, the containment is gone, there's no more containment there, and in order to make sure that, or, or better, uh, you know, right now, water is flowing through the reactors and is getting irradiated. And the irradiation, uh, you know, some isotopes uh, that are still, you know, trapped inside the core, you might bubble up in some way or... You know, so you might get some some radioactive isotopes in there that you don't want, but most of it is tritium, and that's the only stuff that doesn't get filtered out. So, what they are doing right now, just, I mean, if you weren't aware of this before, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think that people who watch this channel aren't aware. But just in case, I mean, uh, let's see. We go to Google Maps, which is my favorite website. And let's see. I always have to look. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't know this from from. I don't know this by heart. So you know, it is. It's north of uh, Tokyo. Uh, there's Fukushima. So as you can see, it's a big city. Fukushima itself is a big city. Nobody actually talks about the city of Fukushima, but we are talking about. Uh, this is coal, by the way. Just uh, just so that so just so you know what you see here is conveyors. These conveyor belts run into, you know, on oh, they go they go this way and they run into this uh, this uh, this here uh, this here power plant. So this is coal. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where is the Daiichi power plant? Is it here? No, this is not it. 
This is not our coal firepower plant, and they are all, all pretty modern because they were built after the after the 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 accident. Uh, let's see if we can find a nuclear reactor, Tapco Thermoelectric. No, nope. smokestacks. This is gas. Yep, this is natural gas. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these people are energy hogs, by the way. Uh, should we go further down? No. Itachi. No. Uh, why am I lost all of a sudden? I have watched. And I'm getting derailed. <laughs> I'm getting derailed. Look, more power stations, more coal. Um, come on. Fukushima isn't that hard to find. Fukushima, Fukushima Daiichi, that is. Uh, you have Fukushima Daiichi, and you have Fukushima Daini. Uh, there it is. Here we, uh, oh no, this is Daini. So this is the Daini nuclear power plant. As you can see, everything is fine around here. Uh, this stuff here is meant to break, you know, if there's a big wave, and it's meant to push the wave out, and then there's some, some remaining you know, uh, flood defenses here. So this is Daini. Uh, let's move up. And there is Daiichi. So it should be evident, it should be, you know, clear straight from the get go that something is wrong here, apart from, you know, all the stuff that is going on here. So here are the reactor buildings that are basically being dismantled. And at some point, they are going to take out the corium and put it into some kind of a container and then basically uh, maintain it. But if, what you see here is all these canisters here, they are filled with water. And they are, they, they are being filled because these are actually pumped out of these reactor buildings. And pumped into these canisters here because there's tritium in there and there might be some you know residual trace elements of I don't know some kind of a you know radioactive isotope that uh, couldn't get filtered out or something in any case there's there's not a lot of radioactivity in these barrels and uh, they are planning to discharge this water you know back into the sea which they should do i mean i am not opposed to that i don't think that you know if it would harm 10 fishes uh, out of the entire marine ecology and marine ecology you know that's uh, that's fine but as you can see here they, they have the a similar flood defense barrier but for some reason it wasn't high enough and uh, it didn't break the wave well enough and you know the systems got inundated and for yeah that's how the uh, failures started but here's the thing this is it not a a disaster it's not a disaster it's a it's basically an um, if we would characterize it correctly it's an industrial mishap as Malcolm Grimston uh, used to say in my documentary, and um, it's going to cost us a lot of money, so that's bad. I mean, there's no question about it. Cleaning this stuff up is bad, and we don't want it. But it didn't kill a lot of people, and it didn't infect a lot of marine life. And to be honest, if we were 100 years down the line, even if the worst spillage would ever occur that would that that didn't occur it would be you know you wouldn't be able to see it and if you were down 300 years you know nobody could tell that something would have happened there so this is the fukushima fukushima daiichi plant just to show you where it is you know uh out from the sea koriyama okuma and then there's Fukushima. So this is Daiichi and this is Daini. Just to show you, I mean, there were these these plants. I don't know. They are uh, if you if you park your boat out in the sea around here, you could probably see both uh, both both nuclear power plants at the same time. So 
what I take away from this is I am angry at those who designed the plant and didn't heed the warnings because those people had been warned about, you know, inadequate flood defenses. And I'm not angry at them for, you know, the negligible health impacts that occurred, but just the sheer fallout of anti-nuclear sentiments that came from the disaster itself because it has set us back maybe a decade or maybe even more in terms of, you know, the deployment of nuclear reactors, uh, maintaining our reactor fleet, um, you know, and, and, and there's still up until today people up in arms against nuclear power and their sole justification for that is Fukushima is what happened in Fukushima back in March 2011. And uh, so, yeah. And, and then there's the final point that I want to uh, stress, and that is what was the real tragedy here? Was it the Fukushima Daiichi disaster? You know, which uh, so far as, uh, you know, as some people are concerned, uh amounted to one cancer death from radiation and 16 non-fatal injuries due to hydrogen explosion, uh, ex explosions? Or was it the Tohoku earthquake tsunami that, you know, uh, killed a grand total of uh, 16,000 people, another 2,500 people being mi missing, and another 6,000 people injured? So let's keep our eye on the ball here. Um, you know, the Fukushima uh, accident is terrible because of our overreaction to the radiation damage. The fact that we uh, evacuated, you know, uh, tens of thousands of people, which caused the deaths of, you know, another... I don't know, 1,500 or 2,000 people just because they were elderly and it was early in the year and it was cold outside and the weather was terrible and the uh, infrastructure of the region was damaged due to the tsunami. I mean, it's quite simple to, it's quite simple um, to me. The earthquake and tsunami were much more... Um, damaging and dangerous to people than the reactor accidents have ever been and so i agree with uh, mike schellenberger uh yeah uh, three mile island and chernobyl and fukushima shows us why nuclear is inherently safe i mean these are the worst disasters that ever occurred and uh, no people actually got or no people i shouldn't say new people not a lot of people were hurt. And uh, even with two and a half thousand nuclear detonations all over the planet, not a lot of people were hurt, except for, you know, where we actually use the weapons against men. That was obviously the wrong thing to do, but it has nothing to do with civilian nuclear power. Civilian nuclear power is the most safe technology there exists. So that's all I wanted to do today. I don't want to commemorate Fukushima. Uh, I do want to commemorate the Tohaku earthquake and tsunami because that had real, a real and lasting impact on people. And the industrial accident that happened at Fukushima Daiichi should be a footnote and not be elevated to the main event, which most people do. And that's all I wanted to say. Uh, that's all I wanted to say today. Uh, I thank you all for watching, um, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.